In this segment, we're going to talk about wax. It's necessary to make your skis as fast as you possibly can, but it's necessary to understand why you're waxing. Uh, there are different snow crystal types. When snow is new, it tends to be very jagged and sharp. And as it gets older, it starts to get a little smoother, a little bit rounder. Man-made snow tends to be a little bit more on the square side of things. Uh, these jagged portions of snow will get, actually get stuck in your base and little edges will break off and this will cause your skis to be a little bit slower. So we want to have a wax that's slightly harder than what the snow crystal is so that the crystal won't actually penetrate into that base and break off in any way. Uh, generally the first type of wax that we're starting with is any type of a hydrocarbon. A hydrocarbon is just a paraffin wax with carbons added to it uh, to make it a little bit more resilient to any of these snow crystals breaking off. One of the most important factors with any wax is this temperature range that's always marked on the package and this is giving you the snow temperature not the air temperature. Air temperature may fluctuate 40 or 50 degrees whereas snow temperature stays relatively constant and will only fluctuate about 5 degrees for any given region. So make sure if it says minus 6 to minus 12, it's a snow temperature that's falling in that range, not the air temperature. Even if it's minus 30, this wax still may be the perfect wax for you. The temperature range uh, for a region of southern Ontario or western New York, generally you're in the minus 7 uh, to minus 9 degrees Celsius. The reason that these waxes are set up with these temperature ratings is that this gives you a sense of how hard or how stiff the wax is. The harder or the stiffer the wax is, uh, the faster it'll go because it reduces snow crystals breaking off in it. And that's something that you can always test just by sticking your finger into. Uh, softer waxes, generally suited more for the spring, what a softer wax will do is actually open up the pores in the base. By using a softer wax, you'll open up the pores and make it a little bit easier for some of the harder wax to penetrate. When you're starting uh, the wax process on a new pair of skis, you'll start with a very soft wax. And this conditions the base to be more accepting of the harder waxes. If you ever see a black wax, chances are it contains a material called molybdenum or graphite and what this will do is help reduce any static friction and static friction is created when the ski is rubbing over the snow surface there's heat that's generated due to that and you're pulling dirt out the graphite content will th of this will help to repel all that dirt so that you won't find it sticking to your base with wax, snow temperature being the biggest consideration, there are also three other considerations. You have three types of friction. One is kinetic friction, which is the pushing and compacting of snow, much like a bulldozer off over soft soil. The second friction is static friction, and this is created when you generate any sort of heat. And the third type of friction is humidic friction. Humidic friction is the amount of moisture that's in the air, that's on the snow surface, and as the ski passes over the snow, it generates a certain amount of heat, and that creates moisture on the top layer of the snow. So with those three factors in mind, and this snow temperature, we have to determine which, which wax will be best for that. Anytime you see a hydrocarbon, in this case a letter H, means that this component of the wax is designed to reduce that kinetic friction, that pushing and compacting, simply because of the hardness of the wax. Uh, anytime you see a molybdenum or graphite content, that's designed to reduce any of that dirt friction. It's caused due to fertilizer, man-made snow, snow making, or any other weather conditions that give snow a dirt factor. And any time you see a fluoro, this refers to the humidity that's in the air and on the snow surface. When you're skiing, you're creating 
that very thin layer of moisture and this floral content will help to combat that. Uh, there are different grades to the wax. As you look through the wax category, it's not only the price that's changed, but it's going to be some of the components within the wax that'll change. Wax generally is a paraffin base. Wax, as you go through the line, you start with a hydrocarbon, which is a very basic wax, ideal for training and any recreational occasion. Once you start to move into anything that has a floral content, it's designed for somebody that's generating a little bit more speed. There's a little bit more friction on the snow. There's a little bit moisture being created because of that friction. When you get up to this particular level, this has a floral content to it, but it also has a molybdenum content. So this is intended for somebody that's traveling at a high rate of speed where they may actually be raising the snow temperature by 10 degrees in that split second that they're passing over it. Uh, there are also accelerants. These accelerants are usually use 100% fluorocarbon. Uh, this is designed only to last for a run at the very most. Uh, this is something that has a slightly different application but is designed just for racing specifically. Once you get into this sort of wax, it becomes very expensive. There's a different type of powder that's not used quite as an accelerant. This one is designed, in a sense, to temper or harden the base. This will reduce any sort of base burn that you receive. Generally on a ski base, when, it's, when there's a lot of friction being created, a lot of this texture will start to wear off. And this is usually identifiable when the base becomes very white or you find a lot of hairs. You'll usually see it underfoot and mostly just about a centimeter in from the edge. Uh, anytime you see that base burn, it just means you're generating too much heat and too much friction in that area. So this powder is something that can be used to try and reduce that, okay? Anytime you use a harder wax, you'll, you'll tend to reduce that.